Alrighty, hi everyone. It's time for another pattern. Pattern Dash Collections is where you want to go. Find Double Zinnia. Um, Melinda Barlow has already done Double Zinnia. Uh, she did a great job. I'm going to do it slightly different because I am me. You never know what's going to come out of my pen. I'm going to click on the page so that it gets nice and big. And of course my phone I'm, I'm just at the edge of the Wi-Fi here in uh, my yard so it's thinking come on think what do you mean it can't be my Wi-Fi is not disconnected let's try again no internet what do you mean no internet ay 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 come on there we go there we go. It's coming. It's just slow. Oh, Why if I disconnected? No, no, no. I'll be right back. I gotta get a little closer to the door. I'll keep talking so you guys know I haven't disappeared. Come on. Refresh. Double zinnia. Give me the whole thing. There we go. See, I was just too far away from my Wi-Fi connection. Ah, here we go. Here's the whole thing. We are aiming for that. These sort of flowers. Start with the middle. Work our way out. We're going to start with a oval with a oval uh, aura around it. Get my my pointer. If I use my finger, then then my phone changes angle. Okay. Try to do it so that you guys don't get a whole lot of glare. There, perfect. Okay, an oval with an oval. Step two, we're going to put little dots, or not dots, but circles around that. And then we're going to make these sort of uh, petally shapes, kind of coming toward this way mostly. So it looks like it, we're aiming with this sort of shape on them but they're all different shapes kind of come up and sort of triangular or rectangularly with a little whoop de doop and curvy edges um, and then step four we're going to do another layer with just kind of like that in between where those so it's like another petal behind. So far so good. We can do that. And then we can put our uh, just lines. We can put us do something in the middle there. And that's what we're aiming for. And here. See how each flower has got a different look to it depending on how you do the initial bit so we're just going to give it a go make ourselves a pile of zinnias and yeah let's 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 do it i got myself a big paper this one's a big one this one's like six by six or something let me measure it for you five and a half by five and a half okay that's a big one turn on my light so we can all see Oh, much better. Zoom in a little bit so you don't see. Okay. And, uh, oh, you know what? I should use my new pens. I should play with them. Okay. Give me my new pens out of my Jazzy's Jazzy art box. Dig around in my box. Oh, they fall to the bottom. Okay. Maybe I'll use my my new mechanical pencil to plan what we're doing. Oh goodness sakes. Um let's let's do let's do I don't know how many we're gonna do. Uh, do I want a border? I don't know. I think I do. I think I want a 
a smaller border. Since I've got such a big piece of paper, I think I'm going to do this with a smaller border and then um, and then put my flowers and go ahead and let them come out over the border. You know what I mean. I'm going to break the border. So um, I want maybe maybe here. A couple of full ones and then maybe a partial one here and maybe a partial one there and a partial one there maybe five that sounds good just trying to plan a, a general general idea let's do that and then let's use these new graphics marabou graphics fine liners and put them out of the box. Come on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay. What sizes do I get? A two, a four, an eight, and a brush. So I'm going to start with the two and see what happens. I'm going to start. Like that. You're a little far away. Let me get you closer. And then a thing like this and some little circles all the way around here. Like that. And then I want to um, make sure that my petals are kind of going the direction I want. So I'm going to give myself an idea of where I want them by just giving myself a little like that, like that, like that, like this, like this, and like that. I want to just kind of indicate the direction I want my petals to go. Kind of like this. That worked. And then I come up in between there and make another row of petals like so. Like that. And that's it. Simple, right? Now let's do another one here. Let's make it just a little bit smaller, I think, and maybe going this direction. Maybe my oval's going to go this way. Birds are singing today. Everybody's happy. We have discovered a family of kittens living under my husband's uh, shed. My husband is not happy. He's not a cat man. Something like that. 
Um, my son's been home for his birthday, and so my son's been feeding them. Husband's not a cat man. We've had a cat in the past. Husband didn't like it when we had the cat in the past either, but he tolerated her. Um, but it's a mama and three kittens. The mama is all black, it appears. I'm not sure if it's got any little bit of white because I, it's very skittish. Um, and then she's got three babies. One is just like her and all black. And then there is a really floofy tabby and a less floofy tabby. But none of them will let us get close enough to them to tell if they're boys or girls or what is the deal with them. Look at those. Those are fun. Um, but yeah, my son's been, he's home for his birthday, so he's been feeding them. And, uh, and that's cool. Like I want one here, going this way. I don't want a fatter one for coloring in. Let's, let's color in with a nice big one. It's easier to color with. Well, that's much better. These are beautiful pens to work with. I'm enjoying them very much. We discovered them right after the graduation party we had last weekend. Um, after the caterer left, we had the taco man, uh, cater the event. And after the caterer left, here came the kittens licking all the food and stuff that was dropped from the caterer in the driveway. So, uh, I do have a f uh, somebody at my work, well, she's not at my work, but a customer at work, if I happen to see her, um, she is part of a cat rescue group that, um, that doesn't trap and remove the cats, but um, feeds cats at uh, the ones that are living in the local shopping centers. And, um, and they will trap them and get them um, spayed and neutered and then um, re-release them. Oh, if I can contact her, I will find out if if her group does them also for cats at houses. Um, or something. We'll see what happens. My husband really doesn't want them just living underneath his shed. That's just like, no. And I certainly don't want four cats. I wouldn't mind having one myself, but at the same time, we're petless on purpose because we want to do a lot more traveling and it's just not fair to a pet if you're not home enough to take care of it, you know? So we have, have chosen to be petless since our, the last pets passed away. 
we we never replaced them on purpose um, so I don't know don't know what's gonna go on with that We do have a, a humane trap, but we could catch them. But then the question is, is what do we do with them after that? I, I don't like the idea of taking them to the shelter because then if they aren't adopted, they'll, they'll put them down. And I, I, I don't like that idea. That makes me sad. So I don't know what we're going to do yet. By the time you see this video, we will probably have made some sort of decision, but I'm not sure what. You will probably be hearing a little bit of voices. People are chit-chatting outside. Uh, do I want to do another one? I had planned for one here, but I really, I don't think I want to. I like, I like the look of this. I'm going to put the little petal lines, growth lines. I don't know what these are, are considered. I'm just going to do that, give them a little something, right? Kind of gives it that zinnia look. Oh, they're all up and about. Okay. I think I will be done drawing for today after I'm done with this one. Um, do I want to color? I don't know. I think I want my border though. I do want that. I'm going to try the, the new brush pen. Let's see what that does. Let's just do... A nice little like that. I like it when I do that. I enjoy that. Okay. Look nice. Ooh. To erase all my pencil bits. Ow. Oh. Okay. And deciding if I want to color. I'm going to try some color. I'm going to try some of these new polychromos and see. Let's do this one. This one's called, what color? Does it have a number? A color? Ultramarine Light. Light Ultramarine. Let's.
Well, that's interesting. It looks totally different on camera than it does in real life. It looks way lighter on camera. sure I care much for this but it's where I started so thinking maybe I want to do regular graphite as the dark instead of this what I just did let me do let me do a little regular pencil and see what happens here interesting okay that's not bad and then maybe I'll get the white out and do a little highlighting there see the drawing doesn't take very long it's the coloring what takes the longest white maybe yellow let's try yellow let's see what yellow does yeah white but I think it needs just a little just a little for a highlight there's the neighbor's big dog Just on the edges of that, I think, just to bring the edge of that back pedal forward a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's do um, another color. What what color do we want to do next? They're all going to be different. Let's do uh, orange do an orangey color.
yellow. red I'll put a little orange too but it's not just red red orangey red need yellow just in general yeah you're feeling a little not right okay and then the white more and then I think I think those ones behind I'm gonna just do black and white I'm just gonna do them in grayscale and see what happens Some with color and some without color. I think that might be interesting. That'll be different than my norm. This needs a lot of dark shadow right there. Okay. my bigger blending stump. I want a nice 
nice big shadow where that flower is on top of that flower. Like that. Okay. And then, same over here. That goes over this, and that goes over that, and that goes like this. Just a general quickie. Like so. And then uh, in between this petal like that, and in between that one. And then a nice big dark shadow where these go over each other. Like so. Like that, and like that. Okay. And I think maybe these guys might get a little bit of a white highlight. But no other color, I'm thinking. That makes it look... Gives it contrast from the top ones and the bottom ones. I don't know. I may or may not continue with that. I may come back with some color, but I don't think I will. Oh, I think that's good. And then I want a little bit of little white highlight. like that. Just a little. Just a little. Like that. Oh, I like those. Okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, now to decide which direction it's going to live. Let me zoom out a little bit. I think they're going to live. I think I like it that way. So now I can sign my work. This pen. Sign it here. And this was double zinnia, right? Double zinnia. Alrighty, I think that's pretty good. It's got a weird angle to it. Everything's kind of a strange angle. This must be the way my camera's sitting, but oh well, it is what it is. You guys, you guys know that this paper is actually square. It's not at a weird angle, but Cameras do that unless they're straight up and down, and I can't do a straight up and down. I've tried. Uh, you guys know that. I can't do straight up and down because my big old hand covers up all of my drawing, and you can't see a dang thing. So it's got to be at an angle. So we end up with a weird angle. All right. I think I'm done for the day. I uh, wish you guys well. Um go out and do something nice for someone today and you will make the world a better place and uh yeah just uh share your art do something nice i'm going to um be going on a cruise in august and i'm going to take a whole bunch of my art i have created these labels that say Congratulations, you found my abandoned art. This art is yours to keep or share with another. And I've got my social media on there. And um, I'm going to stick them on the back of some of the tiles that I've uh, created in the last few weeks. And take them with me. And hide them all over the place while I'm on vacation. That's always fun to do. Um, so you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. The next one I'm going to do is called Cushy. 
Um, but I'm not going to do any more drawing today. I'm going to save it for another day. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.